Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to tell time. Okay, so let's get right to it. If you take a look right here on the clock, you can see that the numbers go this way, just like that. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll just move that so that you can see the 12. So this is clockwise, and this is the way that the hands of the clock will turn. There is a big hand and a small hand. The big hand is used for minutes, and the small hand is used for hours. So let's get right to the lesson. I'm going to show you, using step-by-step -step instructions, how to tell time. Alright, so we're going to start off with the small hand, which shows you the hour, okay? So you are going to look at the small hand and take a look at the number that it is pointing to, and that will tell you what hour it is. So right now, you can see that it's pointing to the 7, so that means it's 7 o'clock, okay? Now I'm going to spin this a few times and it's pointed to the 9 right now, that means that it's 9 o'clock. I'm going to spin it again, and it's pointed to the 11, so that means that it is 11 o'clock. Alright, now then you are going to take a look at the minute hand, at the big hand right here. Now the minute hand will move along the clock, and basically every time it passes a big number, five minutes will have passed. So this would be five minutes, this would be another five minutes, this would be another five minutes, and so forth. So in order to figure out how many minutes have passed at each big number, we need to skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then 60, but when we get to 60, it becomes o'clock. So this wouldn't be 1160, this would be 11 o'clock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move the minute hand to the big, to the three right here, okay? So we're gonna look at the small hand first, and we're gonna look to see what hour it is. Now it's not pointing at the 11, but it's also not pointing at the 12. It is in between the 11 and the 12, okay? So to figure out what hour it is, you're gonna see if it's pointed at a number. If it's not pointed at a number, you are going to go to the lowest next number. So right now it's pointed right here. Sorry about that, that was just my oven telling me that it's ready. Um, right now it's pointed right here. You're gonna to go to the lowest next number. So the next lowest number is 11, okay? Just go to the next lowest number, 11. And then, so it's 11, and then we're gonna figure out how many minutes it is. 11, then 5, 10, 15. It is 11, 15. Now I'm just gonna turn this a bit more. Okay, now we're gonna look at the, we're gonna tell, uh, figure out what time it is right now. Uh, look at the small hand. We can see that it is pointed right here, which is in between the 11 and 12. Okay, we need to go to the next lowest number, which is 11. It is 11, and then we're going to figure out the minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It is 11, 30. Okay, I'm just going to spin this around just to move it once again. All right, so I will bring it over here. All right, now we're going to do the same thing, but you can see that the minute hand, the big hand, is in between two numbers, so we can't stop when we skip count by fives. Let's start by taking a look at the hour hand right here. Okay, the small hand, the hour hand, is in between the seven and the eight. So the next lowest number is going to be seven. So we know that the hour is seven, and let's go ahead and count the minutes. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And 30 would be too much, 30 would be too far. So at 25, if you take a look at the minute hand, okay, you can see that it is past 25, but before 30. So we need to figure out how many small notches it has passed. So 25, and each of these small notches counts as one. 25, 26, 27. Once again, 25, 26, 27. The time is 7.27. 
And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to tell time and how to read a clock. Um, and just for the record, this is an analog clock, not a digital clock. So basically, all that you have to do is figure out how figure out how the clock works with regards to how it the, the way that it goes around. Know that this is the small hand is the hour hand and the big hand is the minute hand. And then figure out what hour it is by looking at the small hand and where it is pointing. And figure out what minute it is by looking at the, the big hand and where it is pointing. And then just put them together, the small hand and the big hand, where they are pointing, put the numbers together. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.